and welcome to week one, day seven, your very first rest day of your program. The goal of these rest days is to take the time to slow down, reflect and recover and set some intentions for the new week to come. One thing I've learned over many years of being an athlete is that without recovery, you just don't get the full benefits of your training program. It's really, really important that you take some time to show some self-care, slow down and focus on your mental space, your nutrition, your hydration, and all of those small pieces that are going to contribute to how well your training program affects you in the weeks to come. As a guide for a day like today, look, I totally recommend that if you have the ability to get outside in nature, then take advantage of it. If you can't, that's totally fine. Pick a nice, peaceful location, something that makes you feel really good and it's going to allow you to slow down and just really enjoy a moment to rest and recover after all of the hard work that you've put in this week. There's a few things that you can do to get the most out of your rest day today. One component of that is some physical recovery. Now this is going to be quite independent to you, what you have available to you and what feels good and necessary for you individually. I recommend maybe making friends with a foam roller, a trigger point ball, or even just taking some time to do some long, slow, deep stretching. Focus on your breath, slowing down, close your eyes, and just try and switch off from everything you've done this week and just enjoy a moment to recover and reset. The second component to this is something a little bit more thought out. Now you can do this as a journaling practice, or maybe you can even just do this as a meditation and something that you sit down and you think about. Or maybe what works for you is sitting down and having a conversation with somebody that can help keep you accountable throughout this process. We're all a little different and what feels right for us is a little different too. For me, I like to sit down and journal that. So what I've done is I've come up with a few questions that I want you to sit down and take a moment to think about, maybe put down on paper, but at least answer for yourself before we go into a new week. The first question for today is what did you do well this week? Before you move on to anything else, it's really important to acknowledge the things that you have done well. It doesn't matter how small they are, they still add up and they still matter. Before you go on to criticizing or breaking things down and what you could do better, you really want to identify what you've done well. Put yourself into a positive mindset before setting the plan to move forward. The second question to ask yourself today is what can I do better to get closer to my goal? Your goal is gonna be very individual to you and that's something that led you here to this eight week program. Your goal may have been to lose a few kilograms. It may be to de-stress. It may be just to have some time for yourself. There's no wrong answer. Take a moment to check in with what your goal is and then what you think you could have done and what you can improve on next week to get closer to that goal. The third thing to ask yourself is, were my actions outside of training aligned with my goal? This is all of the little one percenters. How did you talk to yourself throughout the week? How did you eat? How did you drink? How did you sleep? All of those things that you know are going to improve recovery, improve performance, and improve your day. Break it down to all of the little things that you do each and every day, and really think about if there was anything that you could do better to get the most out of this program. And the final thing to ask yourself today, to sit down and maybe make a note of, is what are you going to do next week to make this process better? This is about implementation. Rather than just identifying what you've done well, what you could improve on, now is about noting how you're going to take action. Without action, we aren't going to move forward. Make a list of just a few things. It shouldn't be overwhelming. It should be fairly free flowing, even if that's only one thing one thing will still help you move forward. By sitting down and taking the time to write these things out and really check in with yourself, you're going to get the most out of your program entirely. This is a huge component of success, so make sure that you do prioritize this just as much as you do everything else. Enjoy your rest and recover and a little bit of time for yourself, and I'll see you again soon.